Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Estancia Lapacho. I have climbed up on top of the plateau up here and we are going to see if we can find one of the great big trees and see if it can be cut down. I think that may be a candidate right there. If it's not, then I'm pretty sure there is one back up over there. Let's just take a look at this one a minute and we'll see. Before I do that, my weekly question, we've got 250 pigs up here ready and waiting for when we want to start using them on the map. At the moment, we have somebody else looking after them, but we will be having them later on. My question is, do we missed a piece. It actually missed a piece. I don't know why. Probably to do with the finishing the field, but we've got a little piece up there just missed. Uh, we'll have to leave it now. Uh, anyway, where was I? Do you want me to start using the, start doing stuff with the pigs very soon, like in the next couple of weeks? Or would you rather I left it a fair bit longer yet and just concentrated on the cows first? I realise we haven't really done very much with the cows yet, and I did say that we would work with the cows for a bit first and do the various different jobs that we need to do with them before we start on the pigs. So I'm now giving you the choice. We can kind of sort of start getting into the animals both at the same time, or would you rather I stuck with my original plan and go with the cows first, and then we'll go back to the pigs uh, in several weeks' time. It's your vote. It's your game. Head in the comment section down below, let us know which one you want and why, and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. Do you want me to start pigs now soon, or do you want me to leave them for several more weeks and just do the cows first? So let's just jump over here and we'll whip out the chainsaw and we will take a look. Now can we cut anything down here? There is, there's no indication at the moment that we can do any cutting. If I come over here and I'm, I'm sort of lifting it up and I'm going around. I can't, I don't, I don't have any, um, oh, wait, there was, there was definitely a, uh, there was definitely a thing there, it came up, there, look, see, you see it flashing, so there's something up there that will flash, but whether it's going to let us, I don't think it's going to let us do anything down here, I'm going in like this, and you, you sort of back up, you can sort of do this, you can wiggle around like this, now, if I'm going right there, there we go. So I do... There is one I can cut there. So let's just see what that does. Because I've been told that some of these trees, you li you cannot cut them down. You can't get rid of them. So I'm just going to cut that through there. That is quite a thick branch up there. So we can take that one out. That one will go. And... Yeah, it does... It does all the stuff that trees do. Just fine. But it, what we can't do is cut the tree down at the base here. It's not letting us do it doesn't like it not even a little bit so we can we can trim branches but we can't actually cut that tree down hmm the mystery is yet to be solved so let's just go under here and we'll unfold this one we'll get this bad boy all started up uh why is it oh i know why it is because i need to go into that one and then lower that one and then actually i could start that one up as well while we're here and then go to that one and start that one up as well. And then we can... Lo they're both lowered now. They're both in low position. So we can bring that one round. Let's just pick up the wood chips that are here on this one. That one that one does chip. So then we want to just zoom out a little bit. And we can see what we're going to be able to do here. Is it going to let us... Oh, it did something. I definitely, I'm definitely getting some cuts there. So I can't do it with the chainsaw. I know that I can't do this one with the chainsaw. It won't let me do it. Uh, there's no bite mark for the chainsaw lower down. But is it going to let me do something here if I'm doing it like this with the, the Brux chipper? Can we use this to kind of bypass that whole situation? It would be very useful if we could find out yes or no for definite. Right, let's bring that one up. I'll back up a little bit. I'll move back in. Uh, right, so far nothing's happening. Right, at the moment we are going to have to be taking this as a failure, but I'm not going to give up yet. I'm not going to give up yet. We're going to bring this one on round. I'm going to lower the wood, the Brux chipper down again, and I'm going to bring it in from this angle. I'm going to see what it'll do over here. There, I've got. Oh, there was quite a lot of cutting going on there. We may have a chance here to do something. Right, uh, it's doing that now. I've seen this before. It takes the stump out the bottom, but it doesn't actually do anything else. So what you end up with is the stump coming off, but the uh, the, the tree itself doesn't cut. Is it going to... What's it doing? Just going to bring it in slowly. Just 
Move it in, inch in little bit by little bit. And if you can see, if you see wood chips fly, you know you've got another chance at taking a bit more out. So we've got a piece off to one side there. We might be able to cut something on this after all. We'll have to see. So bring it in from this angle. Is it going to let me? Uh, no, it doesn't like it. i got nothing there at the moment. Let's bring it up into the air and we'll try it from here. All right. Nope. Okay, it doesn't look like this tree really is going to let us cut. We, we There is some bits that we've managed to cut. We can take a couple of branches off. But that seems to be about it at the moment. I'll bring this one round. Ah, look, there was, an, there was another little bit. It was only a bit, but we, we just got to go just an inch out there. Oh, that was... That's the chainsaw sound. That was definitely the chainsaw sound. But it's not doing anything else. Uh... Anything else? Nope. Right, let's lower it down. Ooh! I've definitely seen something cutting then, but it was part way up, so that makes it more difficult. Sometimes you do get that, and then you've got to sort of lift it up and lower it down and do that several times. Nothing there. Uh, right. Now we've got to sort of investigate this by doing it like this. There was definitely... There. There. I had. There was, there was cutting. It was definitely... Oh, look. He's so sent... Right, that was chainsawing again. Uh, it's right at the top. So I'm just going to keep doing it like this and just see if that does it. Usually, though, with a chainsaw, you've got to be able to keep it in place for it to bite all the way through so it doesn't actually work properly if you do it like that. It's the... Oh, that's a stump grinder. That's now... The, oh, unless that was uh, something that I've cut off. Nope, that's a stump grinder again. I've just backed out a little tiny bit. And again, I think we found, I think we found the stump anyway. And back a little bit more. Let's just try backing out a bigger chunk on this and see if that does anything. Oh, and that, there we go, we got it. We actually got it, it worked, it worked. So it takes quite a long time. You do have to work at it for quite a while in order to be able to get it. You may not get it at all with the actual chainsaw, but if you get the Brux chipper, at least for this tree here, it is possible to remove it completely. And look at that. That went to a full 100% on the wood chips as well. So there was a lot of wood chips in there. Now, I'm looking here on the ground, and there is a stump left here on the ground still. So we want to... The next thing that we need to do is we need to take out this stump. So that we can say that we have successfully removed this tree. But one of these great big trees, we want it to get them, we want it completely gone. And, oh, it's, it's doing some more cutting. But yeah, we had 100% wood chips on that. So there's, there's definitely some stump there. It's just taking a bit to get rid of. Okay, it is possible to remove the big trees. But it does take a long time. You've got to work at it. And I don't know if you can do it with just a chainsaw and a stump grinder. But you can definitely do it with this thing. And the, the actual stump though, that seems to be a bit more difficult. It doesn't want to remove at the moment. So you may end up being stuck. Because if you look, very often the indication of whether it's actually grinding stump or not is not the, the visual, um, the chips sort of flying. But it's if you, you have the sawdust mod on have that one going at the same time and if your pile of wood chips is not growing as you're doing as it's like giving out the animation of um grinding like that if the pile of wood chips isn't growing it's not actually doing anything or sometimes usually that's usually the indication is when when you start getting wood chips turning up then it's actually grinding through the stump or at least that's what i found but this one doesn't seem to... I'm pressed right up against it now, and it's not doing anything at all. It's still grinding, but it has made no changes whatsoever. We do have a little bit of a stump left. What, I've, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this one up here. We're just going to turn that one off. We're going to leave it right there so it's marking where the stump is. Now, I was quite impressed just how much wood chips was in that tree. We had a, It went to a full 100% instantly. So I reckon if we'd cut it in half when we'd done it, we would have, well, we almost definitely would have had more wood chips than that. Um, 
But yeah, we'll leave that as a marker and we will get the skid steer and bring that one up in a little while and we'll use that to um, mark out a point. Now we've got the skid steer is over there and we've also got the lorry with the um, the autoload log trailer. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to skip through until morning because it's starting to get dark. The sun is starting to set and we could do, you know, it's, it's, it is starting to actually get a little bit duller here. So we'll, um, we'll, we'll have some daylight. It's a lovely bright morning. The crops have grown a little, so we're going to just get this bad boy here loaded up and whiz out to the field over there and start doing some more spraying. And then as soon as we've got that one underway, we can then go and go back over to the shop. Ooh, hang on, I want a little bit more on that. Uh, yeah, we'll go back over to the shop and we're going to take the stump grinder first just up onto the plateau and just see if we can get rid of that little stump. And we can also test out the stump grinder. We're not going to create any field up there, not at the moment. And we'll then go and get the autoload log trailer and whiz that one up to the top and start moving all of those logs. And I reckon that we can skip up onto the top by this piece over here. It's quite a big machine, this. Now, if you zoom in close, you can see it's got these different pictures over it. And different angles tend to give you different um, decals, depending on how you look at them. Uh, they, there were some blue ones earlier. When, when I was looking at it just now, there was actually some blue ones. So something not quite right with the textures on the thing at the moment. But other than that, I think this one, I've heard good reports. So let's just whiz this one up here. I really, really don't like driving skid steers up steep hills. I always tended to back them up. I get very, very nervous because you get to this point and then you they start to you sort of think it's very easy for them to tip back over. Um, nothing's stopping you when you do that. I mean, yes, you do have the weight on the ground and that can stop you, but it could easily topple sideways and you get stuck. So it always used to make me very nervous going up a steep hill with a skid steer. It didn't matter what sort that I was driving. Uh, well, what age or anything like that, but I used to drive Bobcats quite a bit, and um, yeah, they, they always made me nervous <laughs> doing that. Let's just bring this one over here, so we've left this one here so that it's pointing out where the stump is. Um, I'm just going to move that tractor back a little bit, and then we can more easily get to it. I'm hoping that this wider machine will work better as a stump grinder. So that we can actually grind through this stump properly. We won't allow, we won't do the create field up here. We'll do that elsewhere. So you got here, we've got, um, we can, obviously we can move this one around it using our joystick that I've got. And then we can enable the plow. You can just turn on the stump cutter like that. I'm not enabling the plow at all. I'm just using the stump cutter. So I'll put that down onto the ground like that. And right, there's the stump. It did something there. So I want to, um, I just want to bring it forward a little bit more. Right, we've hit the stump. We've hit the stump. Is it going to actually do anything? It did. It's actually done something because of how wide this thing is. I think we've done it. I think we've actually removed it. Is the stump completely gone? Uh, I'm look, let, me, let me jump out and take a look. It's difficult to tell. Oh, what's that? I don't know if that's a stump or if that's dirt on the ground. I think that's just dirt on the ground. I think we've done it. I think we have actually removed this. Oh, hang on. No, I'm up against it. No, I'm not. It's just the, the way that the ground is. All right. Let's, let's um, back. We'll just drive backwards and forwards over it and see if there's any. There's no unusual bumps. We have done it at last. We have actually completely removed the big tree. There's no sign of that big tree whatsoever. It's gone. Right. I turn that noisy thing off. Um, so it is possible to remove the big trees. It's just extremely difficult. Uh, but you can do it if you persevere a bit. So we've got this all there. Did you see it? I, I had I had the, the, the blue came up. If I tilt it over a bit, we can see it a bit better. Uh, there. There. The blue decals. Look at that. There they are. You can actually see the symbols. They're all there for everybody to see. And are there any others? I'm looking around at different angles. I don't see any of the others in here. Nope, that, seem, that seems to be it now. It's just it's just those if I go to that particular angle. I was hoping... Ooh, did I see... There we go. We've got some more. We've got some different ones there. 
And there was something there on a tree stump as well. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. I think that maybe you got multiple options for them and they're all trying to come through at once or something. I'm not quite sure. Right, anyway, it doesn't really matter. We're not doing that at the moment. Uh, we'll probably not get back to that one today. We want to get to this one here. We're going to back round and we're going to get this trailer hitched on. We're going to go up and we're going to auto load those pine logs. Now, everybody said you wanted me to turn them all into wood chips. So we're not going to sell any of the pines direct. We are just going to turn them into wood chips. So we'll bring this one along. We're going to go straight round this way. We're going to head up to the field at the top. And we are going to get started on loading them all up. It's a bit rough coming through there, but it's not too bad. We get them all loaded on. And we're going to stick them in a huge, great big pile. And then we can hit those with the wood chipper. We'll take the wood chipper back up there. And just drive the wood chipper into them. And it will shred up loads and loads. And the only thing you've got to be careful of is that you don't take too many at once. Because if you do take too many at once, what you end up doing is you end up um, losing a load of the logs. Uh, losing a load of the wood chips because it basically they turn too much into wood chips and uh, you you, t you, tr you attempt to turn like um, 20 logs into wood chips and your machine only has the capacity for say six logs and it's not uh, expelling them fast enough the, the wood chips don't come out the spout fast enough to be able to get rid of them so you do have to be careful when you're going into a pile of logs with that chipper but other than that I think it's going to work out really well. I should have gone along that other road rather than this one, but I quite like going along this one with all the trees and everything off to each side. I don't like trees that overhang the roads. That really irritates me on any map. It's why I'm sp I've spent so much time in the last few episodes getting rid of trees on the Sandy Bay map because there are trees everywhere that hang right over the road, and it so irritates me when I'm trying to play the game. I've got these trees everywhere that are hanging over, and I can't see anything. Um, so yeah, I've, I've never been a fan of having trees hanging over the roads in any of the games. Um, whereas this map, they're not hanging over the road. They're set back from the road and it looks a lot nicer. It looks so much better. So when you're using the auto load, you do have to go slowly because if you go quickly, the logs will hang out over the back. And you don't really... Is that actually a tree there? I did see this before. There was a... There was like a... a no, I got it. I got it. There it is. There it is. There it is. Uh... I don't know if that's actually a tree or not. I'm sure I've seen this before and it turned out to actually be a tree. Yeah, look at that. Look. There's a tiny little tree there that you've got to get with the stump grinder. I don't think you can plow that either. I think you do actually have to get rid of the thing, which is... It's an absolute nuisance, those little ones. I hope there is... Oh, there's another one there. Oh, dear. I hope we haven't got very many of those. There's, certain, there's at least a couple of them here. See, if I bring that trailer over... Oh, no. Maybe, maybe maybe it'll work. I don't actually know, but there was definitely a mark with a the chainsaw there anyway. Bring this one up here. See, if I keep moving, the log tends to move towards the back of the trailer because the amount of time it takes for it to sort of release and then start to drop, um, you end up with your logs hanging out over the back. Now, it only loads from one side. At the moment, we've got it set on the left-hand side. So I'm going to bring that one in round there. Keep the logs on the left-hand side. It just makes it easier if you can just keep them on the same side. Uh, you don't have to worry about swapping it over. But it is quite easy to swap it over. You press O to swap it over. And then you press B to start the autoload again. Because as soon as you change it over, it switches off the autoload. And so you've got to restart it. So bring those in. The, the slight curve on these logs actually does make it easier to load. They tend to stay on board a little bit easier than if they didn't have that slight curve on them. I don't really know what it is that's causing it to do that, but it does actually seem to work. I think we can get one more log onto this trailer. I'm going to go up there. Oh, no, actually, that is, we've got two logs on there, and that one's just going to fall right off the side. Because I'm loading on the left-hand side, that one down there is just going to stop where he is. Well, I might be able to change this over. If I go to O, and then I press B, it'll load it up onto there, and he's going to balance up on the top like that. Beautiful. Beautifully done. Right, I'll turn the loading off. And then we're going to put the straps on like that. So that is all locked into place. And I now have a load of palm trees. This is brilliant. we got a load of palm logs here. All of them on board. Looking swish. There we go. Look at that. It's actually... I, I do... I love the texture of the wood on these. I really do. I don't know what it is about the texture of the wood. But I really do like it. It's something quite appealing about the texture of those logs. 
Uh, let's take this one. Telper D has completed the task. So we've done some of the spraying. We've got a load more. We've got to get over all of our land again with the sprayer. So we've, we've got quite a lot to be able to, that we're going to need to cover before we finish. Um, oop, getting caught up on the logs here. So we can bring this one in over. What we need to do now is to... You've got to unload. And the auto unload is actually... I really really like the way this works it's really simple it's really basic there's no complications to this whatsoever it does the same direction as your loading so at the moment our loading is on the right hand side so i'm going to press o and i'm going to switch it back over to the left hand side take the straps off you can actually i think you can do this with the straps on it's just it probably lag your game out if you try and do it so i wouldn't advise it and then you press x to x no uh z you press z don't press X at all. X is not actually a controller on this one. So you press Z and then it starts dumping them off to the side just like that. And take the whole lot out. There we go. It does, the unload point is actually lower to the ground than the load point. So you do have to sort of take that into account if you're trying to move them onto something. It will sometimes not quite work properly. Um, but generally I've not really had any problems with it. So there was no trees over there. There was this one here. And it can be difficult if the logs are um, not in line with your trailer. It can be difficult for them to be, sort of be picked up by the auto load feature. Sometimes it won't grab hold of them. If, if they're sort of like this at right angles to your trailer, it can be difficult to get hold of them. You, you, it's, not, it's difficult to sort of tell where the point is that it collects them up from. Um, although now that I've said that it's not going to be difficult at all it's going to work absolutely perfectly just to try and prove me wrong I have noticed this so I in particular I've noticed it with um, I don't know no there, there isn't I haven't updated this trailer this is still the same trailer that I used back in the um, Goldcrest Valley time-lapse series and I did a whole load of them I had a whole load of them all joined together in this big long road train and I did have some issues there trying to get that to load up properly trying to get them to all carry together I did have some difficulty with it so I reckon we can get a couple can I get those I don't think I can I'm not going to be able to get those four logs on there but I can just nip in round here like this and I can get that one small one there just get that one sit on top I'm not even going to bother um, I'm going to stop the auto load press B to stop that one but I'm not going to bother um, strapping these down because we're only bringing them down to here and then I'll unload them. I'm actually going to spread out the pile. I'm going to sort of make a longer pile here. Just because I think it's going to be a little bit easier. If I bring those over there. Like that. When we come into it with the wood chipper. I think it's going to make it a little bit easier if we do it like this. Um, we're not going to have quite so many logs being sort of put to the front of the wood chipper. Which is going to, I believe, mean that we're less likely to lose a load of wood chips by unloading it wrong. So I come round here again, and now I can um, load up these four. Get those on there. There we go. Go on, one more. That's it. Right. Uh, as I've oh, actually there was there was another one there, wasn't there? I missed that one. I oh well, I almost missed it. We come whizzing up through here. I think we're going to have to try and do most of this field using the. Um, the, the stump grinder field attachment type thing that we've got because of how many stumps there are and how difficult it's going to be to find all of these tree stumps I think we're just going to have to sort of start traveling around the field doing the whole lot it's going to be interesting to see how well that works now that oh I'm trying to go over a stump there which is probably going to catch the trailer in a minute the trailer is probably the most difficult bit for getting caught on stumps it it catches on the wheels and then it makes them all jump around like crazy. And get that log on there. Right, that actually worked all right. We, I mean, it did struggle a little bit to get through it, but it did eventually work. I'm going to bring that one up there. Get another one. And another one over here. I'm going to take these back down to the bottom. Actually, maybe we could just leave them up here. Uh, that might be... Yeah, we, we, uh, yeah, it'd be better. I think, I think it'd be better if we just put them all in a heap down the bottom. If we keep them all in the same place, it'd just be easier. Slowly, slowly come in. I reckon we can get just these. Oop, I want to just come around that way there. There's a small log there. I'm going to press B and I'm going to put the straps on this time. Just hold them into place. 
And then we can go whizzing up through him again. As soon as I've unloaded this load, we're gonna whiz up, we're gonna jump over to the um to the Stara, to the sprayer, and we're gonna get the uh, move that one onto another field and start doing some more spraying. We've got we wanna try and get everything sprayed in like No 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 <laughs> Why? Okay. Lesson to be learned here. Do not go around the corner too fast with a lorry load of logs. It's very, very easy to tip over. Um, I think I might need... I, I'm going to get the stump grinder over here. I think that's actually going to work better. We got that um, skid steer. That'll be perfect for picking this up. Our sprayer is valiantly continuing on with the next field. And we can bring this one over here. And hopefully we can nudge this truck back up onto its feet. I'm going to keep the straps on for a minute because I'm hoping that this will work. A word of advice, if you've got a vehicle on its side like this and you try unloading the logs to the lower side of it, it will just unload them under the map and you will lose your logs. You won't get them back. The same happens with bales and the auto load features on the bale trailers as well. So just, just a word of warning there for you. Is this going to pick it up? Um, it doesn't actually look like this is going to work, does it? That's, uh, that's that's genuinely struggling there. It is a lot of weight, mind. I am I am trying. Oh 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 oh! Go 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 go! No. Um. Yeah, I I, I don't think this. It doesn't seem to quite want to do it, does it? I can le if I can lever it up like that, I might be able to do this. If I can I can I lever it? No. Oh, no 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 no! Go 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 go! Yes yes yes! Forward, forward, oh, and we have done it. The little tiny JCB skid steer has more power than we ever dreamed possible. That is just fantastic. It tipped this one back up the right way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unload this load very, very quickly, and then I'm going to take that skid steer, and we're going to go and grind a few stumps just before we finish up this week's episode, because I know that a lot of you would like to see me do it, and like, um do the two together, combine the fields and unload all at the same time. So if I just dump these right here, just like that, keep going, keep going. There we go. Right, all dumped, all finished. So that one can just move over a little bit and park up there. So we can go and grab this skid steer and we can have a little go. So we're going to allow the plow, we're going to create the fields, or we're going to grind the stumps. We're going to do everything all in together. So we go down through, we want to turn on the stump cutter. We want to enable the plow with the X. Uh, what does that do? Ah, I see. Look, see, you got the plow comes down underneath like that. That's the plow bit, and then the stump grinder is the front bit. So it's actually a separate piece. And then we're going to allow create fields as well, like that. Uh, no, not like that. Why? I need to press Y. I press V. That, that's where I went wrong. That, that was my mistake. Right, we have right there. There is a stump right there. So let me just get rid of that, and we're going to. Lower this one down. Oh, it's already creating fields. And away we go. So we just create fields. And it grinds up the stump at the same time. How quickly does it grind? It does. It goes straight. It goes right through it all. Oh, that is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. And you can go a fair speed too. Look at this. Look at this thing. This thing is a powerhouse. This is a beast. This thing is savage. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful, and it works, and it gets rid of the little bits of wood chips. I was actually thinking to keep those wood chips, but now I don't care. I absolutely don't care because this is just gorgeous. Look at this thing. Straight into the stump there. Grinds it all off. Turns it into wood chips, and then it plows the wood chips into the soil. That is fantastic. I am genuinely impressed with this thing. Go on, let's bring it over to the next one. And then, the, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go over and we're going to find that little part tree. And we're going to have a go with that. We're going to see what it does there. Look at that one go. That is absolutely glorious. Grinding up the stumps. Turning it all into wood chips. Uh, oh, there's another stump right there. There we go. Straight over the top of it. Helper Q has already completed their task. That was pretty quick. Come around here. I know I'm turning sharp with those plow things down in the ground. Um, i got to be honest with you. I don't actually care. Um, 
I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I don't, I know that it's not particularly realistic, but uh, this, this thing is so cool. It's, it's fine. I'm, I'm quite happy with it. I am. I, I'm, this, this is absolutely awesome. We, oh, I found a bit that I've missed. I found a bit that I can't get. So, ah, there we go. So um, if it's quite high, you do have to actually have to lift it out of the ground. Um, but it does eventually work. See, it's actually, is it making wood chips at the moment? Yes, it is. It's making wood chips, so it's working. The thing is working. And you can just push it down. Goes into the ground again. And it keeps ploughing. And it keeps doing it. It keeps working. It never stops. And it also goes quite quickly as well. Because you're able to move along the ground quickly, I think it's going to be faster using this one than it is to be going and getting our conventional plough and using the, the ordinary plough to do this job. So you do have to lift it up to work the stumps a bit. And we can just bring it back, drop it down, and away it goes again. Right, let's just... We just lift it up in the air a bit. And what we're going to do is we are going to... Oop, steady. Don't go too fast. We're going to lift this one up into the air like this. We're going to go running down and we're going to find one of those little trees that are like... It's, it's literally... The thing is just like a stump. There's nothing else to it. It's just like a stump. It's like the, the very, very beginning of a tree. And I did... I had to work one of these previous... I think it was when I did the time lapse when this map first came out and I did that one-off time lapse on the map. And yeah, I did... It, I found it quite difficult to sort of get... Uh, there it is. There we go. There we go. Right, let's, let's lower this one down. We're going to do this... We can do this properly. We're just going to keep working our way slowly through the brush like this. And we're going to advance on it. So there's actually there's a whole stump right next to it. So I've got two things on here. I got the tree stump and then I got that one as well. It doesn't seem to be doing anything to either of them at the moment. I wonder if I can just get that tree stump first. That one off to the side. I don't appear to be able to. That's a little bit annoying that it's got the trees. There was another one over that way. So we, we can always go... Uh, or was it, was it back? Oh, I can't remember where it was now. But yeah, if we look through here... Yes. And it's now... It's, it, I've just seen it jump ever so slightly. So I've got a feeling that we've actually done something to it. Right, that one's gone. It is. It just classes as a stump. It, it, it works the same way as just a regular tree stump. So you can get through them if you have a regular tree stump. We've got to be careful with this one. We don't want to get near our giant pile of wood chips because if we do that, uh, there's going to be trouble. There is definitely going to be trouble if we go and put this next to the giant. I'm going to have to just back this one around a little bit, I think. Um, it works backwards as well as forwards. You can do this in any direction you like. But yeah, I want to bring that one over there like that so that I'm going at this tree stump here from a different angle. This is quite a big stump and it doesn't want to actually cut through it very easily so bring that one in there there we go go on slice slice and dice man you can do this i'll tell you, I tell you what we might have to just lift it up into the air and bring it over the top of it and plonk it down on top that's the way to do it that's the way to do it there we go gone completely now and in we go again right where was the next one? There was... Ah, uh, there's one. I see it. I see it straight over there. I'm going to head straight towards it. There's nothing here in front of us. Oh, yes, there is. There is a small log and there is a stump. So we'll take the stump out. Bye-bye, Stumpy. Go on. A little bit more. This one's actually taking its time. Right, there's that one. Now, is this one going to actually take out... Oh, it does. It grinds... It grinds everything up. It takes the whole lot. No mercy. There is no mercy. No quarter ass. No quarter given. This thing is a beast. Right. The next thing I want to do actually is I'm going to have to get the... I want to get the GPS mod and I want to get a line straight up across here so that we've got the... the right, there's that one gone. So if I lift this... Actually, I'm going to switch this one off. We're going to take that one out. And we're going to... We're going to retract the plow, which is... Is that X? Yeah. Retract the plow. And switch the machine off. Then we're going to go all the way up to this end. And we'll use the GPS mod and we'll cut a straight line down across. But we're probably going to have to do that in our next episode. Because we are running out of time. Um, my weekly question for this week is do you want me to activate the pigs yet? Do you want me to get started on those pigs in the next week or so? Or would you rather I left them for quite a bit longer. And we get back to them in, I don't know, five or six weeks even. Uh, 
in quite a long time. I don't know exactly when it would be, but it's certainly not anytime soon. Um, because yeah, there are things that we want to do with the cows, but I don't know if you want me to stick with my original plan of just de dealing with the cows, or do you think I should... Have I got... Oh, no, there's a stump I'm trying to climb over. Um, yeah, do you want me to stick with the original plan of just going with the cows, or would you rather I added the pigs in as well in the next couple of weeks and we started doing some stuff with them? It's your vote. It's your game. Head in the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And, of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. I think I am too close to that hut. I want to be a little bit away from it. I don't want to get too close to that one and get caught up with it. So what I think I'll do is I'll put this tree stump that I've got right behind me. That one's going to sort of be a, a marker for the edge of the field. And we'll bring it there like that, I think. And we'll sort of go in that line there. So do I? am I even able to do this? Uh, we want to go there. And we want to go there. Now, is this one going to let me set... GPS. Uh, auto to three meters. Now I've got the GPS on there. It is letting me set the GPS. I'm moving it. I'm not. I'm not doing anything. That is actually letting me set the GPS. And a straight line actually goes straight into a couple of those trees right down the far end of the map. We've also got logs in the way. So we're going to have to come back and just remove a few of those trees at the in the next episode. I'm going to um, just take that one off for now, and we'll switch that one off. And, yeah, this is pretty much a straight line up through here. I'm looking on the, the little map on the corner there, uh, the, the mini-map, and just watching the way that I'm running... I think we've got, we've already returned the tree harvester, which is a little bit of a nuisance, so we'll have to just take these out manually. We've got four trees here that we're going to have to get rid of. Um, no, we still got that stump grinder and everything, so we'll use that one to do it. Yes, we've got these right here, so we've got that tree, it's going to be outside of the field, and that one. This one here is inside the field, and so is this one, and those have got to be removed before we can do anything else. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.